This week, in New York, my Prime Minister is visiting, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu. President Abbas of the Palestinian Authority is going to be there too. Last year, at the Rostrum, at the UN General Assembly, Prime Minister Netanyahu said to President Abbas, let's meet, let's restart the peace process. I used to work for Netanyahu. I'm saying now to, to the professor, if he gives me a green light, I will ring up the Prime Minister, he will take my phone call, I know that. And I say, are you ready for a meeting in New York this week? Wednesday, Thursday, any time, any place, I can assure you that my Prime Minister will clear his schedule to make that meeting happen and let's get the peace process back on track. What, I'd like you to pass that message on to the Palestinian pri- President. Israelis are ready to start the peace process now. We're both in New York this week. We're both there for the United Nations General Assembly. Let's get the peace process back on track. Will you do that? Uh, before I answer, but I want just to remind him that President Putin has asked pr- uh, President Abbas to meet Mr. Netanyahu in Moscow. And he accepted it without any prior conditions. We did too. No, we did not. You accepted in principle, but then you said, you know, he is busy and he is not going to no, meet. That's well, not true. He is not going to meet well, with him. Well, what so, about, I what mean, about the know, answer to Mark Regev's question? I will, will, I, will you pass that on to I President pass, Abbas? I will, I will pass it uh, to President Abbas. And I, I, if I know President Abbas, he is the most pragmatic person that I have ever met in my life. And President Abbas has been serious about peace since he became the president of Palestine. And there is no doubt about his deep conviction that he knows, and he was amongst those during the well, second intifada if, who said no militarization of the intifada. If, if, they know it very well, but unfortunately, my president was never given the chance okay. of being empowered by well, the Israelis. If, if we see the two meeting in the sort of confines of the UN over the next few days, I should remember this moment. It final, on LBC. final question uh, to you, Manuel. Yes. Why, this is from Twitter. Why, why don't the Palestinian people get the same freedom and privileges as the Israelis? In what sense? Well, well, just a day to day, the freedom to, to go around and do, do their business and uh, the democratic freedoms. We have democratic freedoms in our part. But I mean, the, uh, the checkpoints, the blockades that we have is an impediment. But I mean, within, within our cities, we, by the way, we only control 9% of the West Bank. We don't control all the West Bank. You know that. 61% of the West Bank is controlled by the Israeli army, let alone the settlements that are controlled by settlers, provided help from the Israeli army. So, I mean, the question of mobility has been a major impediment to our economic progress and development. And I don't understand why Israel wants to strangulate the Palestinian economy and development because he knows, Mr. Regev, that economics has been always a piston for a political intifada. When the people, you know, are deprived from their basic necessities, they have no other choice except, you know, to resort to violence. We could talk for another three hours, probably another three months, actually, but we've slightly gone over our time. I'd like to thank the both of you for coming to thank see you. us. Thank Mark you. Regev, Manuel Hassassian. Um, I hope you both think it's been a, a, a fair debate. I think you've had sort of roughly equal time. I haven't got a stopwatch here, but I think it's roughly equal. Thank you very much indeed. Thank and you very in much. a moment, we will be taking your calls. 0345 6060973. Did any of my guests, did either of my guests say anything Thing that has made you actually reconsider your opinion on any aspect of what's going on in Israel and Palestine at the moment. 0345 6060 973. This is LBC. It's two minutes past six.